What's going on everybody, Broken Games HDR, back at it again with another video. Feels like I haven't done one in a while, probably in three weeks. It's been even longer since I've done an impressions video on something, but here we are. Gonna give you my impressions based on playing the Stellar Blade demo. So normally, I don't play demos for very long, like I usually don't complete them. Usually I just play for like five to ten minutes, extract the information I need, and get out of there. It's just to confirm if I want to buy the game or not. But since I wanted to actually make an impressions uh, for this game, I beat the whole thing. And I was pretty pleased upon completing the demo. You know, I like my experience. So the premise of the game is that the humans on Earth, I think it's Earth, I'm pretty sure it's Earth, lost the war to alien invaders called the Natiba. And you know, humans, we can't do shit. We always lose in wars in every goddamn, you know, story. Of a, of a movie game. We just always lose in a goddamn war. We can't do shit. Anyway, uh, the main character is Eve and her squad are sent from like the space colony to reclaim Earth. And I thought, I initially thought Eve and her squad were like cyborgs, but based on the small amount of research I did on this game, um, they're actually completely human. But obviously she has major enhancements uh, to be doing some of the uh, abilities that she's able to do in this game and this is you know futuristic sci-fi action adventure game so it all that makes sense um i think it may be something akin to like the clone troopers in star wars because i think her and her squad that you see in the demo they all look pretty damn similar like like they're almost family like they're clones so i think that's probably uh what it is um genetically altered human beings probably in a, in, in a sense um and even in this relatively short demo, they did a great job, you know, providing a little bit of a uh, exposition with the conversation between Adam and Eve. And obviously that's like a biblical references. We'll probably see biblical references, uh, references throughout the whole game. Talk about the gameplay a little bit, because that's what everybody is enamored by. Right. That's what we care about. Um, so if you see any of my gameplay and I'm not attacking the enemy, uh, it's just me testing out like the timing and the parry. Uh, the timing of the parry and the dodging, because this game is pretty dodge and parry centric. Um, you will need to rely on these mechanics to deal with these enemies. To be clear, this is not a Souls game, but some comparisons are being drawn to Stellar Blade and Sekiro. Which, by the way, Sekiro is not a Souls game, but I can understand some of the comparisons. Even though parrying is a core mechanic in both of these games... I think the difference is Sekiro or Sekiro, I always say Sekiro, however the proper pronounce, pronounce, pronunciation is, uh, Sekiro was more of a parry rhythm game. And the only way to actually defeat, I think, all of those enemies, if I'm remembering correctly, is by parrying and breaking the posture. In Stellar Blade, there are similar systems, there's a similar system to posture breaking, but all of these systems serve more as like options and tools more than that's just the singular way on how to dispatch enemies, if you get what I'm saying. Um, a small gripe I had, and I admit this is very nitpicky, is that I didn't like that you had to manually pick up items. A lot of games now have like auto pickup options or pick up items by just by running them over by default. So I'm spoiled by having that option in other games. Also, I thought her general movement is slightly slower than what I expected it to be, but it's not a big deal. The sound design is really good, but I do feel like the sound of the perfect parry could have a bit more reverb. It's not bad at all. I'm just like a real stickler and like a perfectionist about all the aspects of the art of parrying, because I think it's one of it's probably the most satisfying uh, mechanic in video games for me. The platforming and swimming doesn't seem to be anything special. Most likely it'll just be a method to assist the pacing so it's not just constant back-to-back -back fighting and action. And in a world where damn near every game has large areas and open world, I really appreciate that this game is wide linear and has shortcuts to unlock and more of a hub design. Uh, Cause you know, I, I bro, I've got so much open world fatigue by now, it's sickening. Uh, the animations are nice and smooth, which is very important for an action game contingent upon reaction and timing in regards to parrying. Um, some people use different methods to parry. Not everybody parries the same. Not everybody processes parrying the same. 
Some like to spam the button to parry, which doesn't work in most games. I don't think it's, it's I don't think it's going to work in this game for you if you do that. Um, so some people like to spam. Some people uh, like to react based on indicators. And some people like me are visual parriers and focus on the movement and the actual animation to learn the parry window for each enemy because the window uh, will vary along a wide spectrum. You know, when I'm looking at an enemy, I'm actually focusing on their limbs in this type of game. I'm looking directly at their limbs and I'm looking for a tell and like I'm processing in my brain, okay, that's right there when they do that, that's when I'm supposed to parry, you know? Um, so I'm very honed in on, on that type of method when it when it comes to uh, parrying. Um, I actually have more trouble parrying slower enemies because they have a longer drawn out telegraphed animation and I always parry too early because of that. So I actually hate the slower enemies. I find the enemies that have fast and rapid attacks, rapid attacks easier because it becomes predictable and you acquire the muscle memory and the rhythm and everything like that. You can unlock more abilities and your skill tree, customize your equipment. And I look forward to seeing, you know, the depth of the gameplay and what the full game offers. So the Stellar Blade official Twitter account confirmed performance mode runs at 1440p 60 and balance mode is upscaled 4K and maintains 50 to 60 FPS, which is great. Normally, I will I would always play on performance, but given that information that um, balance is between 50 and 60, I gave it a, I gave it a try and I feel like it ran pretty smoothly. I didn't have any issues. 1440p is the bare minimum resolution. Um, any of these games on console should be so kudos to the developer uh, for this um, for the performance on their on their different modes. I think there's three different modes: it's performance, um, balance, and, and resolution. Resolution, probably I think resolution runs at probably 30. I, th I think I saw, but balance and performance are great viable options. The game is very flashy, you know, with its effects and has uh, it has more gore, violence, and dismemberment than I thought it would be. I'm I. I I think I learned that it was rated M, but you know, it has a little bit more violence than I honestly thought it would. Um, specifically, human dismemberment. Overall, the game is very satisfying to look at and not in the way all you freaky frogs are thinking. Aesthetically, Eve does seem to be like the contrast in the world, which seems a little bit muted and monotone in color. And that might be intended. And that's another small gripe of mine because I like everything in my games to be vibrant, colorful, and you know just pop off the screen. Even it, even if the mood or the or the tone of the game is like dark and somber, uh, because it's like a destroyed and desecrated world, bro. I want that destroyed world to be colorful. That's but that's just me. But and, and that could just be the area where this demo takes place. The rest of the the game. Um, I would hope has more diverse environments and, and, and different, uh, you know, color gamuts. So I already had this game pre-ordered and this demo just confirmed what I already thought. The game looks like it's going to be really good um, and I look forward to the full release. Hit the like button, follow me on Twitter. Let me know what you thought about Stellar Blade if you played the demo. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.